Am I live? <laughs> I should be live. Let me log in my bot. The ding. That should mean I'm live. So games that have bugs in them. Insects. I'm actually going to start with Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Because there is a spider in it. And that's a bug. I'm going to try to play it on the hardest difficulty. Which might be uh, really difficult. Blue Mountain. A Gray Mountain. Gray's good. Gray gets his arrows. Red. And gray. Well. Let's see what we have to deal with here. See a... Let's see here. Blue Mountain would get us the boat. That would get across the water up there. And, but then we'd have to get through the gate or just through a mountain diagonally oh, down there. But then we got to go through a mountain over there. That's if we take that path. I think the same thing might be if we take uh, the bottom path. We'd have to go through a forest as well. So why don't we... Uh, I'll just go in here. There's droppings right off the bat. What? I forget which droppings are those. Are those rat droppings? We got a noisy bat blocking sounds. Lovely. Hear nothing so far. See, my friend uh, Michael Hayes, who streams this game, seems to know by the beginning layout of how big it's going to be. There's some droppings there. That could be where there's some arrows at, though. I think that's... Is that rat droppings? I'm not sure if rats make a sound. No, that's the exit. Oh, no! <laughs> I have no arrows. Oh, no. So you don't want, you don't want to fight a snake on the beginning level. And a gray mountain. And that bat won't get off my tail. I'm taking a risk here. I can't hear nothing. I hate to waste an arrow there, but I don't want to run into the other snake. I just want arrows. There we go. Is that probably all that I'm going to find here? Let's get out of here.
I don't know which way I'm going to get out of here either. I don't remember where the exit was, with the, with the, where I found the ladder at. There it is. <sighs> no bat yet. Oh, arrows. Oh, blob it means there's a rat nearby. Okay. I, I could just take the arrows and run. And not risk trying to get a second set. Oh, we got them. Oh, come on. Blob, do you have to do that? Okay, I think we're good. Blue Mountain. And a blob right off the bat. Oh, there's a demon right off the bat, too. But I have some arrows to spare. He's not there. He's not there. Oh, he was there. He was there. I guess my arrow didn't go far enough. I was ready to shoot. Gosh, these bats are terrible on hard mode, aren't they? They just stick with you like glue. They're your friends. Uh, gosh. Oh, good. Now I just need to find the ladder out of here. But it's going to be blocked by another demon, of course. Gosh. Uh. Oh, I, I hit enter. I didn't hit it quick enough. Oh, no, I found it and I died. I got my buttons confused. Uh. I had found it and I hit the wrong button. Oh, I'm just going to start over now at this point. I think I have to. Yeah, I've never beat it on hard mode. But since it's bug night, I guess I should only give this one attempt and go on to something else.
Can always come back to this later. The theme is games that have insects in them. Bugs. Which there's plenty of. More than you think. I, I could bring up that, that topic we were discussing on uh, my Intellivision group. We know Worm Whomper has bugs. Buzz Bombers, Frog Bog, Centipede, Ladybug. That's just for starters. Someone said Adventures of Tron has grid bugs. I'm not sure if I count that or not. Frogger, I guess has flies in it. Night Stalker has a spider. Uh, someone said Beauty and the Beast, but I think that's a bird that flies by, and that's not a bug or anything, I don't think. I don't know. And some people got confused and thought I meant programming bugs. Ah, you picked up Frankenstein, Indiana Jones, and Intellivania. Someone said giant ants and treasure of Tarman. Donkey Kong Jr. might have bugs in them. Sewer Sam has spiders. You can get stuck in the webs. So Armada, aren't those space bugs? Maybe we'll try Centipede next. Bad start. Hey, a television gamer. I was just talking to you. Games that have bugs in them. I locked out and didn't have to work hard today. And I'm not hurting and sore like yesterday. So, there's that. And it didn't even rain today, but luckily I didn't do anything. Were you re were you do were you recording any unboxing videos? Do scorpions count as bugs? I guess they do. I, I think when I bought a. Uh, when I had uh, one of those Autobahn ins insect books, I think scorpions were in there, as well as spiders. Oh, why'd I do that? Uh, uh, what? Well, your message. I was recording videos, sorry. So were you recording any unboxing videos? what I asked. That you finally had time to record some videos. There's a certain unboxing video. Oh, darn. Let's try that again. 
because that unboxing video would be very grateful. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to shut up about that now. <laughs> we'll do it one more time. I know I can be quite, I can be quite a, a pest. I gotta stop bugging you on bug night. Yeah, and too bad, too bad it didn't have a roller controller and too bad it didn't have millipede. Millipede's fun too. Somewhere on my channel, back in the old days, when I re used to record my videos with a digital camera pointed at the screen, I, sh I think I did a centipede comparison video and a millipede comparison video. Well, it's hard to not get hit when you're over stuck like this. Oh, jeez, how'd I get out of that? Ah, oh, the flea got me. The scorpion. Ah. I'm not sure if I want to play Tarman, though. Cause there's no guarantee I'm even gonna fight a giant ant. I don't know if I've ever saw a giant ant in any of the times I've played. I probably never got far enough. You know, so I, I might not play that one. I've seen, I, I think I fought spiders though, but I'm not sure if I fought giant ants. Or did I? Did I? I can look at the manual. I got my folder right here for television manuals. Treasure Tarman. It might show the enemies in there. See, I haven't even seen one of those dragon looking creatures either. There's the Minotaur. I think they're showing random enemies during the manual, but not seeing what they are. See, see if it shows enemies anywhere in here. Okay, giant ants. Giant scorpions. Ah. Uh, yeah, maybe I maybe I fought the giant ants. I don't know. Uh, I may play that one, but let's let's go to some other games first, though. How do we go to Buzz Bombers?
I probably have that under other networks. That's not too bad of a start. This game doesn't have the best precision or anything. Brandy. Sometimes you can't hit that those white ones for nothing. my high score again? I don't remember. Oh, 151,000. I thought, I thought maybe she, she had broke my record or something. <laughs> I was like, geez, the whole, the whole family's beating me in games. <laughs> That's still not too bad, though. Thank you. 
A double. We played uh, three bug games so far. I started with Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Cloudy Mountain, because that has a spider in it. And I did some Centipede. Got one. Got another one. That, that hummingbird can be so annoying sometimes. They should have made a sequel with mosquitoes. This year is awful for mosquitoes here in Michigan. It is bad, really bad. One of the worst years I've seen yet. You can't even go outside without being swarmed to death. I swear that hummingbird is programmed to, ju to, to rear out right on top of you sometimes. Almost lost a life, but didn't. Are they bad there as well? I mean, they were really bad. I mean, you... When I mean swarmed, I mean... Just opening your car door and you might get, like, half a dozen in there. Oh my god, I'm missing like crazy. Oh my god, hummingbird. My timing's way off, too. I think I'm gonna lose a life on this one. If I swear to God, they they had to have programmed that hummingbird to just to be right on top of you when you want to shoot. There's no way that they didn't, <laughs> or it's a programming bug.
I'm doing bad all of a sudden. Look at them! I move to the right, the hummingbird moves to the right. I move to the left, the hummingbird moves to the left. What is wrong with him? Big storm? Oh no. Watch out, man. <laughs> Look how I got out of that one. Play cable videos? How many play cable videos could there be? And what's up, Jonas? Boy, I've started off bad. Where'd my aim go? I lost it. How did I miss both of those? Oh, that's a gate. That's a death. Yeah, the play cable is pretty rare. I wouldn't think there'd be a lot of videos on it. Unless there's more videos out there than I think. Oh no, I trapped myself on this side. Oh no. I think we're dead here. 
Oops. Game over. That's no that's nowhere near my best. Yeah, 186,000 is my best. I didn't even I didn't even get close to that, did I? So what's next on the bug list? Uh, we could do some frog bog. Uh, is it number one for nighttime? Oh, no, I want to hit enter first. There we go. Oh, I, I, I have full directional control. Okay. Oh, no, I don't have full directional control. Actually, I don't know if I want full directional control. <laughs> Mr. Megabucks over here. Buying himself in it. A play cable. Well, I'm not doing too good here the uh, the manual way. I think we'll do a, a regular way next. A modded one? To a working unit? Wow. Boy, I am doing awful. I didn't read your whole comma yet. I only heard a red part of it. I'm trying to concentrate on this. I guess I'll have to hunt down that video to see what you're talking about. I'll stop with your variance garbage. <laughs> You're the second person who wants to see treasure at Tarbin. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to play that. But I stink at that game. If I play Tarbin, I don't think I'll do it right away. Because that's a pretty big in-depth game. And there's no guarantee I'm going to run into any giant ants. 
Is there? I'm not sure how you would, uh... Oh, and I hate Ladybug even worse. I don't know how to play Ladybug. Very well. I would rather play Frogger and Pitball, honestly, over Ladybug. But we'll play it. I know it's a popular game with people, but I do not like it. Do I want the X? I don't know if I want the X. I think you don't want the ghost, right? I don't see the appeal of this game. Well, I like Pitfall more than this. I'm just not good at Pitfall. It's not that I don't like Pitfall, it's that I'm not good at it, and you're a pro at it. So that kind of turns me away from the game. It'd probably take me a year to get anywhere near and on uh, pitfalls as well as you could play it. It'd take me years of experience to even get anywhere near that. I think I've always been interested in Pitfall since I was a kid, but I never really got to play it. They watch the Intellivision French lessons and Jack Lyons work out videos. <laughs> I remember a Christmas morning. I'm pretty sure it was a Christmas morning that Jack Lyons show was on when I woke up early before we could open gifts. Stuck. You know, I think I saw his show before, even when it wasn't Christmas. Because it was, it, 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 it would come on in the mornings. I can understand the appeal of Pac-Man. I have a hard time understanding the appeal of this game. I don't feel like it controls all that great either. I think I'm just getting lucky. You guys probably dislike it when I talk bad about Ladybug, too. <laughs> you probably hate it. You probably hate it very much. What's the purpose of the letters, anyway? Am I supposed to be picking up the letters in a certain order?
I'm gonna get a lot of hate mail over my hate for Ladybug. Like, if these items are in different colors, do you get more points for them? I don't know. Oops, I forgot I can't eat that thing. That's enough of Ladybug. Does Intellivision, does Pitfall for Intellivision even have an ending? If so, we should get some speedruns going. <laughs> Casey's pretty good at it. Well, while he says he's, he's not as good as other players, he's still like a hundred times better than I am. But I'll play it here in a second. I just got to run to the bathroom. But I'm telling you, it's not going to look pretty when I play it. But I'll give it a shot. All right, I'm back. You already sent a hate mail. <laughs> <email. laughs> just, I'm just good at surviving 20 minutes and going fast. Uh, I'll get even more hate mail by saying this. I would rather play Coleco Donkey Kong over Ladybug. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a lot of hate mail for saying that. Well, what was I playing next? Oh, Pitfall. So, why why is it when you play it, you go backwards instead of forward? What's the strategy in wanting to go backwards instead of forwards? I forgot the bottom button. Uh, I I shouldn't have went.
timing is not one of my keys when it comes to jumping. <laughs> oh. Can I can I get just just this screen over and over again? Yeah, just give me this screen over and over again. This screen's great. Yeah, give it to me again. Yeah, I like this screen right here. Oh, they had, they had to change it up, didn't they? Oops. Perfect. Oops. Well, yeah, I'm not good with the timing. I'll give it another shot, but, you know. This is Casey's game. Or I should say the Intellivision Gamer. I think if I want to get good at this game, I would have to practice it off stream when I can relax and concentrate. And I can't relax and concentrate when I'm on stream. It just doesn't work. When I'm streaming, I'm never as good as when I'm not streaming. It's just once in a while, once in a great, great while, I might do better while I'm streaming. But not often. <laughs> Oops. Hey, money. Dang it. You need to engage a scorpion since it's a bug theme. Well, how do I do I gotta go down here? Yay. But I missed myself a ring up there though. That could have been points. I think that's game over. All right, next game. What else do we have for bugs? I might still do Tarman, but I'm not ready for Tarman. Uh, I would like to avoid playing Sewer Sam. We got Worm Whopper, though, that's for sure. We could do Frogger. Night Stalker has a spider. The giant ants and Tarman. Someone said Donkey Kong Jr. has bugs. Does that have actual insects? There's also some homebrews that have bugs. I'm not sure if I, if I had planned on playing any homebrews, though. So what was I said I was going to do? I guess we could do Frogger.
which I'm not very good at either. Some of these games I would do better if I had an actual D-pad instead of the Intellivision disc. There's no lie. Well, I don't hate the Intellivision disc. It says some games actually still do control better. Oops. Yeah, I'm bad right off the bat. I do that for. We ate a bug on a log, so that counts. We didn't get the bug up the top, though. It'll probably be gone by the time I get over there, yep. Sometimes I think the disc is just not good for this game. Does it really? Oh, dang. Right, that's what I was thinking. While I'm not really great at Tarman, yeah, I, I pushed up, I swear. That's why I say the controller's not great for this. And it also could just be my disc is not perfect. It could be my disc is not perfect. Gotta eat it myself as a bug. Oh, we got we got the good bug too. So I hate to say this, but I would probably rather play this on the Atari. So I could use the Sega Genesis controller or something. Oops. That's what's dangerous about that section there. You have, you have to be careful not going up one too, too many there when you cross the road. So you have to be fast, but slow enough so you don't make a mistake there. Hey, I hit that. Well, that's probably the best I've done at that game on stream so far. <laughs> I know it wasn't that great, but it's probably the best I've done so far on stream. I like Frogger, I'm just not good at it. Yeah, I actually like this game. While I don't like 
Ladybug. I like Pitfall and Frogger. I'm just not good at them. Now, what's it, what else did I say had bugs in it? Okay, we'll just do Tarman. Screw it. We'll do Tarman. But I also want to do the original AD and D again as well. I want to try to beat that on hard mode. Cloudy Mountain. Give that a few more attempts. Or I could just make a video out of that. Would you, would you guys like to see that as a video? For my channel? Me just trying to beat Cloudy Mountain on hard and, and just do it till I get it? Would that make a good video, you think? I'm not sure what to pick for a, uh, for levels here. Where's the manual for this one? I closed it, didn't I? Let's bring it back up. For difficulty here, let's see. I don't want to pick one. That's too easy. One for medium. Okay, two for easy, three for easiest, disc, disc for hard. We'll just do one. All right, we'll try to encounter an, an ant or a spider. I already forgot all, all my buttons, even though I just played this the other day. There's an enemy in there, but it's not a not a spider or an ant. Well, I can't guarantee I'll collect every item, but I have to beat the game, which I guess would assume you would have to get the crown to do that, right? But there's no guarantee I have to get every item because, you know, uh, what if I can avoid getting an item? You know, I, th I think the main thing is, is the, the strategy of the easiest and quickest way to get to Cloudy Mountain. I, th I don't think it has to do with getting every item, per se. Because if you can avoid... Uh... Oops, wrong button. an item just to so you get there. I think that's what you want to do. I mainly say that because I know I'm going to have a difficulty, difficult time uh, just getting the Cloudy Mountain as it is. Yeah, I've never even beaten the game on hard mode, so I don't think that's the best idea. I think just beating it once is the good idea, though. I've only I've beaten it on uh, the second hardest difficulty, but never the hardest yet, so... 
They give me all kinds of good items in this hallway. So I think I should take that as an omen to get out of here. And go down the floor. Let's uh, count my food. That's how many times I can eat. That many times. Is that worth uh, picking up? I don't know yet. Oh, okay, that's right. I, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Do I want that? It's kind of weak. But it's better, best to have good items all the way around, though, I guess. Hey, what we're going to do is, I'm not sure the quickest way to do this, but how I'm going to do it, I'm going to swap pack, swap that, use it, and what is that again? What's my weakest item here? Probably my bow. Is this, an, is this a weapon or is this something I use? Is this a potion as well? Should I use it? Another key, I think, is the same color, isn't it? Yeah, we don't need that. Well, well, I guess I should have an item over here first, though. There we go, giant ant time. Actually, let, let's not waste a good item just yet. We'll, we'll use that one. So Bug Knight has been fulfilled. With this game, anyway. I don't know if I want to go in there or not. You have to fight again. Well, I can avoid him over here.
I know there's some players who just have these mazes me 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 memorized, and they even know where all the secret walls are. <laughs> well, it feels weird just to quit, you know. It, fe it feels it wouldn't feel right to do that. What else am I gonna play? You know, I'm kind of I'm already running low on bug games to play, and we're only like an hour into the stream. Oops, uh, use. So I wonder if we should keep playing anyway, just for that reason alone. That's a weaker helmet, I think. Alright. I'm not going to use that great weapon on you, though. Screw that. I'll use that one on you. My problem is I'm running out of weapons. And we're dead. All right, now we can move on. I I shouldn't have fought him, huh? He was a bit tough. So what's left? We got Wormwomper. I played that quite a bit recently. Is there any other are there any homebrews with bugs in them? One's for sure. One's for sure. I guess crayfish would be a bug, but I don't know what to do in that game. Someone said Donkey Kong Jr. I'm not very good at Donkey Kong Jr., but if you want me to play it, I'll play it. Uh, we can't play that today. But, uh, that's the, uh... Actually, no, I guess we can play it, technically. It's what what turned into Tower of Doom. Even though it's acting a bit funky right now. Let's see. It's not loading for some reason. Something happened where it's not wanting to load. No, oh, I don't. I hate to say it was one of the updates, but I wonder if it was one of the updates that was doing this. Because this loaded before. Enter. Huh. Well, this is a game bug instead of the other bug. This game did load before. I think it loaded. Uh, just recently it loaded. And that that was with this current update to the to my back bit. Hmm. And I don't have the IntelliVoice hooked up. I wonder what's causing this.
Yeah, any 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 button on the keypad is just making it go crazy. Y two K. Yeah, we could play Worm Womper, but I've been playing that quite a bit recently. And not not avoiding it, but I've just been playing it quite a bit. I don't know how to play that game. How long is it going to take me to learn that one? Quite quite a bit. Would I have to read the manual? Would I need an overlay? Just like I need to learn B-17 Bomber. People have requested that a few times. And then I don't really want to learn it on stream. But then I haven't been getting around to learning it off stream either. I guess killer bees could be bug related. Let's see what this one is. I don't remember what this is. I don't remember what this even is. Well, I don't know what this is. There might not be many uh, bug-related homebrews. What about Sparrow? I don't think it does, but we'll just try it out anyway and see. Sparrow goes flapping. I'm not sure if there's any bugs for your bird to eat. There's apples. Oh, I can eat the apples. Okay. So apples are good. I didn't know birds ate apples. I'm not seeing any bugs. Is that a bug? Oh, I can shoot. This is not a bug. But I thought I'd try anyway, though. No bugs. Oops. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot those to go through. Ah, I'm not doing so well. Game over. Okay, no bugs in that. I was hoping for bugs. Yeah, I've only tried that game like once before. Yeah, it's a homebrew. Like, like, part of, like, a, one of the programming contests, I believe. Any bugs in the Sinti Hunter games? I don't know.
I guess, uh, worm, wait, aardvark, aardvark has bugs. I still have to learn this game. I'm not very good at this one yet. This one takes some strategy. This is a free ROM that you can get off of Atari Age. If you search, it's in memory of his wife. This is made by Nano Chess. Oh, I don't want it to touch my tongue. That's right. Never mind. I screwed that up already. I can get the worm, but just from behind, I think. Oh, I went down the wrong one. That wasn't... I, did, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we got him. Oh, I, th I, think, I think those ants can get me too, though. Got him. This game is quite tricky. For good points here. Oh, I couldn't get it in time. Yeah, it is pretty wacky. Well, I'm doing terrible, though. <laughs> yeah. It is quite disturbing. Oh. There. That might have done it. Going back up is the difficult part. We made it. Finally made it. That's so difficult. But but I guess I could retract instead of just trying to go back up. I I have to, I have to get that in my head to program that into my brain to retract instead of trying to go back up. Having to program my brain to memorize something is is difficult at times. Oh, I'm kind of stuck here now. Oh, okay. I, I, I can do it that way. Okay. I didn't, didn't realize I could do it that way. That's tricky. Oh. And the trees? Is it the sun back there? Is that what you're looking at? The sun? See, this is tricky because because you have to get down and get these dots, but you don't want things getting you. Like here and here, these things can kill you. Then you have to start over again. Oh. Uh, Dang it. Boy, that game's tough, man. No, you didn't miss Worm Whomper. I didn't get to that one yet. I started with uh, Cloudy Mountain, because that has a spider in it. And then I did Centipede. 
I did Buzz Bombers. I did Pitfall. I did Frogger, Ladybug. Uh, Frog Bog. I just hadn't got to Worm Whomper yet, but I was getting to it real soon. I almost played it a few minutes ago. And I also played a little bit of uh, Treasure of Tarman because that has a giant, that has a spider and an ant in it. Uh, I won't do any more Cloudy Mountain today because I think I have come up with an idea for a video. I think I will try to beat it on hard mode uh, for an actual video instead of just live streaming it. Which was what I was tempting to do tonight, but then I died. But let's go to Worm Whopper. If you've seen my new video that I just put out yesterday, it's that new series, series I'm doing, uh, Atari 2600 versus Intellivision. And I'm trying to do it differently than the other comparison videos out there, how someone likes to do, which is the best version of Demon Attack? Which is the best version of, you know, Atlantis? And so forth and so on. I'm trying to make it a showcase instead of a contest a sh a, 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 and try to get games that are similar in nature. Like episode one, I did Adventure versus Cloudy Mountain, which I think are two similar games. And for episode two, it was Worm War 1 on the Atari versus Worm Whopper on the Intellivision. Now, episode three, I haven't made up my mind yet. Oh, I keep I keep doing this. I'm just going in circles here. I haven't made up my mind if I want to do uh, Berserk versus Night Stalker. I could do try to think of the different possibilities of similar games in nature, but not exact games. Demon Attack versus Phoenix, I think I'll do. To the Demon Attack versus Demon Attack, I think I'll do Demon Attack versus Phoenix on the Atari. I also could do Enduro versus Auto Racing. Big fan of Enduro. Even though I stink at auto racing. <laughs> I might do Beam Rider on the Intellivision versus Turmoil on the 2600. Kind of making it up as I go along. I've also heard uh, I should do uh, uh, what are those games? Dragon Stomper. I might do Dragon Stomper versus Treasure of Tarman. Then I might do uh, Chris. Oh, what what is that 20th Century Fox game? Is it Crystal Caverns or something? What's that? What's that game? Uh, versus. Uh, Actually, I, I, th I think it's the, the, that one is I'll do versus Tarman. And then Dragon Stomper I'll do versus Tower of Doom. 
Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the that's the thing about it is I love enduro, but what's the best racing game on the Intellivision, you know? There there really is no great racing game. You could do I could say bump and jump, but I don't really care for that game and uh But then, then people might say, well, why didn't you do bump and jump on the Atari? Why did you pick the Intellivision version? Unfortunately, there's more Atari games than in television games. So this series can't go too far. Unless I go start picking the homebrews. Because I would like to do games like Spider Fighter and those other shooting games, but you know, uh, th there's only so many shooting games on the Intellivision. So it's you can play that one player, but boy, I don't I I don't know how to play that one properly. <laughs> That's one of the sports games I did not have as a kid. I had Slam Dunk, I had Super Pro Football, I had Slap Shot when I was a kid, I had World Championship Baseball as a kid, but I did not have volleyball. I even had Body Slam as a kid. And I had Super Pro Decathlon too. But I did not have Mountain Madness skiing. I had regular skiing. And I didn't have mud buggies either. I had Diner though, but not Dig Dug. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I'm falling apart, but that's okay. Sometimes it's best to uh, to forget about half the playing field and focus on the lower part. Having too much corn can be a bit much to keep track of. So it actually is better to, uh, to let, let some of it go. Oh, I'll stop a little bit on that. When I started getting body slam, it was around the time that my controllers on my Model 2 started being faulty. So I eventually had to do computer versus computer matches and just watch, which I enjoyed a hell of a lot back then.
I had a piece of paper written down for the best wrestlers in the NWA and the WWF at the time. And, and I would have like a roster and I'd have the, uh, the wrestlers going for the title. Trying to shoot up the ladder for a chance at the title. I think I had Beach Bomb Barney as Hulk Hogan. I think I had Gorgeous Gordon as Ric Flair. And Roddy Piper for the other Federation. And I, and I would have, do a bunch of matches. Computer versus computer. Just watch. Barf the Caveman for life? Where's Barf the Caveman? Barf the Cave... Oh, yeah, Barf the Caveman. Barf the Caveman, yeah. I, I wonder who I used him as. Uh... Yeah, I wonder which wrestler. Maybe Hillbilly Jim? <laughs> I wonder. Oh, I wonder who, in my imagination, I would have used. I think Vic Vicious ended up being Sid Vicious for one federation. And probably the Ultimate Warrior for the other. Unless I use Sting instead. Maybe it was Sting. Rambo was probably Macho Man and maybe Lex Luger. Dr. Payne may have been uh, Paul Orndorff, maybe. I had, to get, I had to get creative as a kid, you know. Because I would watch wrestling every, you know, every day. or Not every day, but every weekend at least. I'd watch uh, WWF Superstars every Saturday. And the NWA, which was every Saturday and Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm falling apart. You had a backstory? That's more involved than what I did. <laughs> I was good at the game as a kid. I even had a record where I I timed it to see how the, the fastest I could pin somebody. And and I and I was good at good at that. I probably made sure that the computer didn't have moves that, that could be abused. Like duck and cover. And you would abuse the top rope moves. And I believe the earliest I could pin someone was at 32. I have that memorized. I think 32 health. What? Oh, game over. That I didn't do as well as I usually do. Christ himself when he wrestled. Man, I wish I had those papers that I had as a kid. Man, I had all my slam dunk records on there that I used to do. And I know and I guarantee I also had stuff for body slam on there. Man, I wish I had all that.
I, 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 believe, I believe that was right, though. The earliest I could pin someone was at 32. 30, 32 health. So I think I did have a record of the fastest pit, fastest time pinning somebody. And he had to abuse the top rope moves, jump off, and j jump off again, and jump off again. Dr. Payne was kicked out of the medical profession. <laughs> and this... Man, that's actually awesome. <laughs> you know, my, my my favorite wrestler of all time, past and present, was the Great Muda. And I'm sure I had him in there, too, somewhere. So now that I've played almost every game that has bugs, almost every game, I could start repeating some games or get to the ones, the 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 technical ones. Like someone said, uh, "Adventures of Tron has grid bugs," even though those aren't really those aren't really insects. Someone said, "Space Armada aren't aren't they space bugs?" Well, that's what my friend uh, Double. Jason said. Night Stalker. I could play Night Stalker. It has a spider in it. That counts. And maybe Donkey Kong Jr. Should we play the original Night Stalker? Or should we play Mrs. Night Stalker, the homebrew? Anybody have a preference? I know there's a slight chat delay, so. Uh, I'll count to 10, and if no one says anything, I guess I'll pick 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, two and a half, two and one quarters, one. Okay, I guess so. I'll just pick the original. Down there. Well, that's not good. Oops. I wasted a bullet. Oh, I was, I was trying to get too risky. I shouldn't get too risky. It's not good when you get too risky.
I'm trying to play more risky. But I, I can't seem to do it like, like my friend does it. It's going to take some practice to get more risky. Ah, I felt like that went right through him. It's going to take a lot of practice to be more risky at this game. Oh, I thought he was going to come down. That bat almost got me. Why does the bat have to be right here? <laughs> Thank God for being paralyzed. <laughs> That's the only thing that saved me there was being paralyzed.
That's probably bad. Oh, where'd that bullet come from? Dang it. Oops, I, I thought I could get him. Boy, I don't know how to play this game at all today. I feel like an amateur all of a sudden. Not a good place for that gun to be right now. I don't think I can get out of here. Alright, maybe I can. Wait. Oh, no. So close. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Dang it. Oh no. Bunker defense time. I wish there was a version of Ice Stalker where the robots wouldn't destroy their bunker. <laughs> well, this robot here won't destroy it. It's it's a later one that will. Well. Would you like to play a hacked version? There's a hacked version made by our one of my viewers, uh, INTV. Is it INTV Lab or INT? It, no, it's INTY Lab. INT Lab. Our own Michael Hayes made a hack of it where I think it probably gives you unlimited lives <laughs> and you just don't die ever. Or something like that. Which is, which is kind of like cheating, but... 
I don't, I don't think it eliminates your bunker blame blame blown up though. Oh, that's a death sentence right there. Like, how am I going to get that? Surrounded by three robots. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult. I could wait it out for a long time until those robots go away. Or at least the, the two gray ones might, might go away. But then they might not. Uh, that, that, was, that was probably my best bet right there. If that white one would have went up, I think I would have had it though. Dang it. I try to be risky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, what else should I play? Do you have any do you have any requests for Bug Night? Now's your chance. Yeah, the only ones left are the technical ones, like uh, someone saying Adventures of Tron has grid bugs. And I guess Tron Solar Sailor has grid bugs. Excuse me. But I think I've hit them all up. I think that is correct. Would you like to see me repeat anything? Technically, I could say shark, shark. I could say crabs and lobsters are like sea bugs. They're like the scorpions and spiders of the sea world.
We did centipede. Oh, I forgot Donkey Kong Jr. You got a crash? All right, man. I guess I'll play Donkey Kong Jr. I guess I'll play the homebrew version. Thanks for stopping out, man, and I hope to see you again next time. Get key from Mario. Save your papa. Oops. Are there bugs in this? I'm not sure if those things count as bugs or not. Well, I, I'm not very good at this game, though. Boy, I stink at this. I think I was better at the uh, Coleco version. The crappy Coleco version. It is impressive, though. Just not very good at it. You can't do that. Okay. Oh, dang it. I am no good at this game. No good at all. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Where's the easy mode? Oh, how'd I do that? Go back down, will ya? He doesn't want to go down. He's making this difficult on me. But doesn't he go down? Jeez. See, now he's going down. at this I think it's a bit difficult too it's a bit on the difficult side especially with the Intellivision disc In my opinion it's a bit difficult 
It's impressive, but difficult as hell. Oh, finally did something good there. I've done better at th than this at Donkey Kong Jr., but just not this version of it. Definitely not this version of it. But it probably took me a lot of practice to get decent at it, though. I don't know if it was the ColecoVision version or the Atari 7800 version. The precision is not there for this game. See, sometimes when I jump up, it, it doesn't hit the vine. Man, those things come down way too fast. Way, way too fast. What's up with that? Barely have time to react. Uh, that was actually my fault. I know this is probably painful for some of you to watch. Just so painful. I must admit, that is... That is, uh... Impressive. But at the same time, I want something that controls good. And I'm not sure if this is it. I wish I could just jump across here, but you can't do that. I'm not sure how many more attempts I'll try to give this, but gosh, gosh, gosh. I don't remember the arcade version or any of the other ports being this fast. Unless I'm just not remembering. Here, here's a problem I have. Is that sometimes I feel like you need a running jump so you need to back up a step. But sometimes when I back up a step I fall off the ledge. Am I mistaken in that? Am I looking at that wrong? 
Oh no. Come on, he's so fast. It's so fast. Why is it so fast? Is the arcade version this fast? See what I was, like I did right there. I was trying to back up a step so I get a running start. Did it again. I'm not actually seeing any bugs yet, unless it's uh the second screen. Unless those things are bugs. Are those things bugs? I'm not sure if they're considered insects or not. I guess I guess you don't have to back up there, but if you don't jump right, it's not going to work. about feeling frustrated that's what this game does it, it frustrates you to death is there like a difficulty switch on here somewhere there's bonus lives and that's it just bonus li start lives I, th I think we'll just play something else that's not so frustrating my gosh you need to be an expert to play that my gosh. I'm not the kind of person who would throw a controller, but if I was, that would that would be the game to make me do it. Why wasn't this one loading correctly? Unless it'll go on its own if I don't touch anything. So I know this loaded before. I know it did. Something changed. Maybe I need a different ROM now. I don't think the update should have done anything because there hasn't been an update in quite a while with the back bit. There hasn't been an update in, in quite a while. I'm sure I've played this since then. Oh, well. Play some Frog Bog. The old-fashioned way. The fixed arc. Yeah, 
in the difficult nighttime. Difficult because you can't really tell 100% where they're at all times. Just most of the time. Oh, I should have had that one. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. I think I've, uh, I think I'm going to call it here. I enjoyed Bug Night. It was quite interesting. Uh, I might do another theme for next time. I don't know yet. We'll see. Or I might save the theme for uh, another time. Space theme will probably be the next theme. But I don't know if I'm going to make it my next stream or if I'll save it for a later date. And figure out which space games, because there's a lot of good ones. Some I like and some I don't like. Some I don't want to play. I'm sure I'll get plenty of requests for Solar Sailor, which I probably don't want to learn. I'm not sure if that's space or not, though. Maybe it, maybe that's not space. I don't know if that's space. You know, we got Space Armada. We got Astro Smash. Demon Attack. Is Atlantis isn't space, so I don't think that's I think that's Earth. Got Star Strike, which is not that great. We got that new Space Versus. We have Homebrews too. Space Versus, Space Raid, there's Space Spartans, there's Space Battle, Space Hawk. <laughs> some I some I don't know how to play, and some I uh, I'd have to relearn again because it's been a long time. I'm not sure what I'm willing to relearn, you know. A lot of times when I'm not streaming, I don't go, I don't go through the, go, I, I'm trying to word it in the right way. I don't put a lot of time into learning the games that I haven't learned yet. Even though I should, but I just haven't. I just haven't. I apologize. So, with that said, I'm going to call it a night. And I, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all guys later. Has my, has my picture been frozen for a while now and no one said anything? How long has my picture been frozen? Has it been frozen for hours? Has it been frozen for this whole stream and no one told me? Man, it's just like on Twitch. No one tells me anything. 
My picture could be frozen for hours and no one will say anything. I could be muted for hours and no one says anything. Ah.